Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this product here, which is by Fernox LSX. Now this is not really a schedule video, it's just that this is November in London and it's freezing cold. So uh, we decided to turn on the heating. So I'm doing my yearly boiler check. Basically I was doing an overall checking and there's a leak. Um, this leak has always been around, but it's never really caused any problem for concern. But over the years, I think it's just getting worse. And this year, I think it just decided to let go. Clean it up right now, but I'll show you a photo on the screen of what it looks like before. Basically, it has been leaking for a while. And um, because it's a hard water area, so the crystal form around the joint, it kind of sealed itself. But um, it is getting worse, so it needs to be fusion. I'll call it plumber, but to be honest with you, I want to save some money. Uh, they have call out costs of at least £30. If you are lucky, they will come out over the weekend. If not, then there's a long wait as well. So I thought, what's the worst can happen? Try and fix it yourself, right? If you know what you're doing, then you know this might be a good information for you. If you're not, call in a professional. So I shut off the main, turn off the boiler, clean up the mess, and this is what it looks like now. So I have a combi boiler. So this is the water tank. And on top, we've got this connection right here, which is the hot water feed and it goes out into your tap or your shower. And over here is a compression joint. So the male is from the boiler, and there's a nut here, and the copper pipe inside, and there is a kind of a copper ring which goes around the inside of the pipe. And that is where it is leaking. You can see it slides up and down. So when the pipe matches, when you screw down the nut, it presses on the um, copper olive shape um, ring and then it stops the water from coming through. But it's messed up. Now I can't get to the pipe and cut out the copper from inside, which is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to cut out the copper ring and put a new one in there. Now, um, some people put um, those um, plumber tape or PEFT tape around it to stop water leak. I have no chance of getting into that little area with what I got here. I mean, I would love to just cut it off here, you know, weld a new piece in there, but I'm not a professional. So I'm just say the, the average guy, um, homeowner. So I try to fix it myself. Now this one here, I got it from School Fix today, this morning, and it's about five or six quid. I thought I'm, I'm fixing it myself here. May as well show you guys, it might be useful for you. So I got my gloves on because I got loads of little cuts on my hand and I don't want this chemical to get on my hands. And I will attempt to seal the joint by pushing the gel into the little gap that I have here. I have a little tool which hopefully help me to get into behind the nut here and get some sealant into there. And once it's pressed down and it should seal the joint. Now the instructions say that you need to um, dry it thoroughly, which I did. I clean up as much as the crystal I have I can from the pipe. And um, now I just need to apply it with for a few hours, pressurize the thing and see if there's any leak. Now this is not my usual camera. This is actually my newer camera. This is my Sony. And then uh, they're supposed to be able to do a better job at close up. So this is what I'm using right now. Hopefully, you guys can see what I'm doing. So five quid, you get a tube like this. Break open the seal. I have a feeling this will come out all blurry. Anyway, so this this is the gel. Very water-based con consistency. Basically, it's a silicon gel, and it's safe to use on um, drinking water. So what I will attempt to do is lift this up as much as I can. I wonder if I can just squirt it into the. It would be nice if it come with a little nozzle. It doesn't. I might have to just squeeze this as much in as much as I can. You know 
what does this remind me of? This remind me of bathroom sealant. I guess the concept is exactly the same. My only concern is if I can't get enough in there, and it might not seal properly. And space is what I don't have right now. That's quite a lot actually. So now I'm going to put some around the thread as well. Open that. not getting on to the where we need to go okay that's it so as much as much I can into that little gap hopefully when it press down it will squeeze everything into where it needs to go I'm hoping to see some silicon get spilled out from the top it's definitely squeezing some out from the bottom Oh, that's a good sign so I see some silicon being squirted out from the copper pipe on top of the nut where the water is usually spilling out now I'm not going to do it over tighten it I'm just going to do it tight and then another quarter turn as much as I can and this should give the silicon a good squeeze on the top so the silicon should be squeezing out from all the gaps on top. I can see them spilling out here. So I am just going to do a little bit of clean up here. Um, instructions say one to two hours before you pressurize so um, I'm going to come back to check on it later on I'm just going to let it set right now I really hope this works I mean this should be quite an easy job I'm sure any plumber can come in chop off the pipe weld on a new one that's your proper way to uh, fix it but um, this should do for now that's the real right now all this mess was over years um, water keep leaking and then drying on the pipe and form this crystal stuff it never caused a flood or anything like that so it was a weeping joint and it was so slow that you know it didn't cause ow and it never caused any problem until today I check on the boiler Okay, now should be the moment of truth. I'm going to turn on the main supply and um, it will pressurize the tank. And if there's any leak, it will come out from the top of the nut right there. You can see some silicon being spilled out from this side. Nothing from that side though, but let's see what happens. So far so good nothing so far before as soon as i turn on the um 
the main supply as soon as the pressure build up water start to leak from here and so far it's bone dry which is great now it will take some time to uh, get rid of some airlock and all the pipes are filled in with water again but at least i know this joint so far is okay the next test is one is warmed up it shouldn't make much different I do no metal to expand, but the whole joint should expand at the same time. Alright guys, so the pipe is now hot and um, it's pressurized and everything back to normal. So this uh, Fernox uh, Make Water Works LSX does work and I highly recommend it if you want to try and fix it yourself. Now it's all dry, I will monitoring it. I will be monitoring it for the next few days and months coming ahead of the winter and make sure there's no more leak and um, just do a bit of cleanup here and I am done for today. Thank you very much for watching and can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. So it has been a couple of hours now and it's still dry. I saved myself 50 quid right there.